Catholics, we are called to always love the church. Um, but sometimes that's difficult, you know, especially when we're confronted with the sins of its members and in particular the sins of its leadership. Um, one of the, the real problems with scandal, one of the, its terrible effects is that it, it tempts us to, to love the institution less. And we trust it less and we're less likely to give our lives to it. Um, and that's, but, but it, what's important to remember is that you know, Christ loves the church and Christ is the one who makes the church holy. And that's really why we have to resist with all of our strength this temptation to disillusionment with the church. Because the proper response of the faithful to scandal in the church is not to abandon the church, but to come to its rescue. The proper response of the faithful, and that includes laity and priests, is to, to pray, to offer sacrifice, and really to insist on sanctity and fidelity. And when it comes to vocations, you know, the proper response to scandal is not for young men to walk away from their vocations, but to respond to the call in order to help build up the church. And parents should not discourage their sons from entering seminary, but they should instead boldly encourage them, but all the while insisting on the sanctity and fidelity of their sons and the sanctity and fidelity of those who are entrusted with their formation because we can't allow scandal to drive us away. We Catholics are realists. We're realists about human nature and the in inevitability of sin. And we're also realists about the church itself, that the church is the holy and beloved bride of Christ who is worthy of our love and in need of good men to respond to the call to be her priests.